Internet Sixers, hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, as usual, on Wednesdays, local food here in Chicago. Gonna do a review of Roanoke Restaurant. We got two different things, uh, so watch the rest of the video to watch it unfold to see what we think of them. So let's head to the Loop, downtown Chicago. Let go. All right, guys, a couple of sandwiches from Roanoke, acquired jump cut. All right, Corey's gonna show you his. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got in here. Okay, look at that bun, my God. So that is a, uh, what do we got, what do we got? That's a brioche bun, and then underneath we've got, apparently, some pickles. There are some Asian slaw, hot sauce, and uh, mayonnaise, and then the, uh, fried chicken sandwich in there. Those fries also look incredible, by the way. Yeah, they do. They look seasoned and crispy. Mm. Holy monstrosity. I got the griddled hamburger here. This is two four ounce patties, tomato, iceberg lettuce, American cheese, and shallot pickles. So, damn. All right, time to feast in the loop, Roanoke. Cheers. Cheers. Burger and a chicken sando. Mmm. I think it's really good. It's a solid burger. Wow. But it's got like a good sauce on it or something. That's. Relax now. They did such a great job of, look how much cheese and how much sauce. Mm. I love when it's like nice and saucy. Yeah, nice sauce it up. Mm -hmm. Not usually a slaw guy, but this is good. Yeah, that thing looks amazing. Mm. Mm. I love the seeds on the bun, and that looks like a pretty big piece of chicken too. That's a big boy. Now, you guys won't see me take tomato off of burgers too many times, but look at how thick, this is aggressive. Oh um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that just for my pleasure. This is a great burger. This is almost too pretty to bite into, but I'm glad I did. Yeah. yeah. This is what I want like a bar burger to be like. I know we went to that uh, Dearborn place not too far from here, and it was like more expensive and just frozen. Yeah. And just, you know, it just wasn't worth it. This is like, it, this This is cheaper. It's still 15 bucks, but it comes with fries. But this is kind of what like an upscale bar burger I want to be like. This is very good. They're just doing all the simple things right. Not trying to get too crazy with it. It's like our show. Simple, yet elegant and effective. And much like this burger, it'll get you hard. I'm weird with food, I don't know if you, you guys are like me, but I get pretty into it. This thing's got great pickles. How do you feel about hotter Sixer sauce on a bite? I feel like on this burger, mm. it's gonna be real great. I think hotter Sixer sauce goes very well with chicken sandwiches, so. Sure does. If you don't keep hot sauce in your car, you're not on our level. <laughs> it goes with their, um, whatever the sauce, I guess it's just mayonnaise. I guess the coleslaw flavor too, it all goes together with the hot sauce well. Mayonnaise is one of the fattest things in America. I know, but it's just so great. Like, I love it, I don't care. Yeah, it's delicious. In moderation, you know? Just even looking at it, you can just tell it's gonna make you fat. Even when you put the like the knife into the jar and grab it out, you're, like, the amount of regret you yeah, have. Yeah, it's so gelatinous. Yeah, and then the one bite, and you it tastes so good, and then you immediately start rethinking of what you're doing to yourself. I don't know if anybody else has that inner monologue, but I do. Mm. Just regret the whole time. I eat because I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy because I eat. So, a little background. We actually called to try to get these shaved rotisserie lamb sandwiches, because that looked insane. So, I don't know, we, we pivoted in the moment. They called us, and they were like, we don't have that. So we went back to our roots of fried chicken sandwiches and burgers, and it didn't disappoint. But I am intrigued, because I can't imagine we're gonna come back here anytime soon. So, what could have been if they had lamb? This is exactly the type of fry I love. Double fried, seasoned. The look on these is just absolutely gorgeous. They're just like that deep golden brown. Yeah, really good. This is exactly, dude, I wish they would have given like a bunch of, like almost like, they had an aioli dipping sauce for these fries. Uh, they do have ketchup, do you want ketchup? Yeah, I'll do it just cause these types bad. of fries are so good with a sauce. They don't lose like their integrity when they're dipped. It only enhances. Yeah, now as a potato boy, these are excellent Frenchy fries. Yeah, you can tell by looking at us, we're a couple of potato boys. And this is like the heart of downtown, I feel like. Quite literally the middle of the loop. 
And although pricey, it's not as pricey as I would expect for a loop restaurant. I think 15 bucks for a big ass double cheeseburger and fries is what you would get charged in Lincoln Park for this quality. That, like, this isn't is, bad. That's not a bad price at all. Damn, dude, this has turned out to be way better than I could have imagined. I am thinking about that lamb, though. I know. You got to take it off the menu, you know? Can't let us order it. You got to get my hopes up. Transaction went through and they had to cancel it, you know? It's like going to Bangkok and hooking up with a girl and you get into the bedroom, she pulls her pants down, and you, get, or, you find out you ordered something different than you got. <laughs> That'd be a little bit of a darker moment for me, but the analogy fits. This is incredible. Like, I can't tell you enough how much the like creaminess and just overall like texture of that burger is making it a higher caliber. The ratio of just like everything about it is spot on. Yeah, it looks like they really sauced it up. Sauce up the nibs, the sauce up the nibs. They got quite the team going on back there, man. They, they got a big crew of people cooking. There's one of those kitchens you can see the whole thing. There's a lot of trust. A lot of trust. You gotta have good staff. I've seen the movie Waiting. I wouldn't think that one would want to see the kitchen, the kitchen uh, being prepped. I'd imagine this kitchen is a touch different than Shenanigans. Some Fromunda cheese. Yeah, make us proud. <sighs> Fresh from the taint. We like this. Good. Yeah, that was damn good. This is like not even just good for high-end loop food. This is like that burger could be do some damage at a burger festival yeah. like in a competition. Like we've done that before. We've had a bunch of different ones. That would be one that would stick out to me, I think. You don't need crazy like aiolis and crazy different things. Like you can just do certain things really well. And I think you can rank high and I think they do well. All right, guys. Well, food was smashed. Don't forget to like this video. It helps a lot. Uh, we have new videos every single weekday. So if you want this to be a part of your morning and your daily routine, come on back. We're here every day. And now let's comment something. Let's talk to you guys. Uh, let's make this uh, a community of Sixers that all talk to each other and respect each other. What would be a good comment for the folks today? Yo. We did one um, a week or two ago that was you got a Sloppy Joe and I got a Smash Burger. What if we redid that, but now it's fried chicken sandwich or burger? Let's go. Because that's even more, Sloppy Joe's like kind of more crazy than just like yeah, a chicken sandwich. Yeah, you don't see him much. So comment below, what would you get more often than not? A fried chicken sandwich, really good, or a smash, like a double burger? Comment below. I'm team burger. I think I would get the burger more than the chicken sandwich. It'd probably be like seven out of 10 times. Yeah, it's probably somewhere where I'd be. Mm -hmm. Every yeah. now and again, I'd like to switch it up. So comment yours. And now let's do a shout out. Donation, donation shout out, donation shout out, donation, donation shout out. That's right guys, if you want to donate to the channel but didn't want to sign up for the monthly Patreon that charges your card every month, we do have some options for you. You can either go to our Venmo or to our PayPal. PayPal is linked not only below, but also on the homepage of our YouTube channel. There's a little uh, icon up at the top right corner that you can click on. Or you can just go to our venue and type in at number six with cheese and donate some money. We'll give shout outs to anybody who donates. It really does help the channel a lot. I was thinking about it, like I know a lot of people say we wouldn't be able to do this without support from you guys. We literally wouldn't be able to do this. There'd be we, no money. We wouldn't be able to afford it. We'd have to be working other jobs. Mm -hmm. This is literally only, this whole thing, this whole show is only because like, I don't know, probably 150, 200 of you guys like really support yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so of course we're gonna give shout out to those people because we really wouldn't be doing this without you guys. So uh, let's give some shout outs to some people who donated. Donation shout out number one goes to the legendary Allison Welby. He loves his sister, uh, she loves the show. We don't know this cryptic amount. She donated $6.31. Every bit helps. Every bit helps, that's a hot and ready pizza, that could be an entire review. But uh, if you don't mind letting us know uh, what the reason is that you donated that, that'd and be She amazing. just gave us a middle finger in the comment of it. Oh, yeah. I, so I, I forgot there was a, so she flipped us off and but then she donated the lowest six amount we've ever gotten. Man, I'd love to know so why. I, that might be just like a hate crime. Against white guys. <laughs> um, anyways, I appreciate it. Uh, I know you do too, every bit counts. Thanks, Allie Welby. And donation number two goes to Mr. Eli K. Oliphant. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Eli's awesome, he also uh, is a Patreon member, 35 and up. We got to eat uh, some food that he sent us to go Forbidden get. Forbidden Root. Forbidden Root, he sent us over there. We also got to hang out with him at a uh, Christmas bar, which we did a vlog about mm. on the Corey and Sean channel. Um, I don't know, this was like before COVID, so like two years ago or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It was super fun, we did shot skis and stuff with him and his girl, so awesome dude, Eli. I really hope we get to run into him again. He was a super cool dude, I love chatting it up with him when we got a chance to, so hopefully we get to see you again, bud. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the help. He sent us uh, 50 bucks, it's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, just a clear cut number that I can get behind. <laughs> Alrighty, donation shout outs done. Time to rate the sandwiches that we each had here today. Uh, I mean, I think Roanoke, I think Roanoke, Virginia. I mean, out of five Virginias, how many Virginias do you give the fried chicken sandwich that you had here today from Roanoke Corey? 
Uh, it was really good. It wasn't the best chicken sandwich I've ever had, but the sauce is what really made it great, and it did look freaking beautiful. Um, check out our Instagram if you guys don't follow us. You can see how pretty it is. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I just really enjoyed it. It. I'm kind of like gonna bump its score up a little bit because I know how ex expensive it is downtown. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's a lot of people who like watch this stuff. We have a lot of Chicago people, but there's also a lot of people who watch this stuff who are like traveling to Chicago and it, they're downtown and they don't necessarily want to go all over the different yeah, parts totally of the city that. that we go to where we usually have better, more affordable stuff. This is a pretty great option to go at if you're staying downtown um, where it's like not going to break the bank. Even though it's a little higher end, it's not bad for downtown. I don't think so. So all that kind of coming into play, I think that's like pretty damn good. I'm going to give that a four. I thought it was like pretty damn good. I was right there with you. I think the exact same thing about the burger. Like, this is good for down here. Like, this would be a great burger for you to have. I think that encompasses, like, Chicago's ability to have, like, we've said this before. Chicago, to me, is a burger town. People always say about pizzas and about uh, Italian beefs and hot dogs. I think Chicago is a beef, like, a ground beef, like cows with flattening ground beef. I think it's a burger town. Uh, I think that's a great option. I think if they're on, like, DoorDash and stuff like that, and you want to get that delivered and you live here, or to your hotel, Hotel, I think that's a great option. Uh, dude, I'm going, not the best burger, but damn good. I'm going 4.25. Wow. And I'm fine with that $15 for those fries too, because yeah. I'm rating the burger, but also the price of the $15 with a heaping amount of double fried seasoned fries, 4.25. That's just a solid ass option. Excellent. Um, so guys, don't forget to let us know fried chicken sandwich or burger. And then we're back here tomorrow. We're snagging some local pizza. And uh, we'll see you very soon. Come on back. Every single weekday we do this. So you might as well watch them all. Bye.